The hidden camera video, published online over the weekend by the Sun tabloid, appears to show British Lord John Boutefont Sewell. That's him snorting what looks like cocaine with a couple of prostitutes. The animal you are. It's disgusting, isn't it? Lounging in the prostitute's bra, the 69-year-old married father brags about having more than a dozen marital affairs, makes crude comments about Asian women, and calls his peers at the House of Lords thieves who receive generous daily allowances just for showing up. Two hundred a day yeah. to buy lunch. It's not lunch, lovey darling. It's paying for this. Yesterday, Scotland Yard raided Sewell's London apartment, where it's believed the video was filmed, looking for evidence of drug use, investigating a man who had been the face of integrity in the upper chamber. I, John, Lord Sewell... Do the Deputy Speaker in charge of standards and discipline, who recently helped to write new, tougher rules governing Lord's behaviour. The problem is that the damage Lord Sewell has done on the Lords now, and if he is an honourable man, he will understand that and take retirement straight away. But at first, Sewell refused to resign, instead taking a leave of absence pending the investigation. Not good enough for the British press or the Prime Minister, who, by the way, Sewell also insults in the video. He's the most facile, superficial Prime Minister that's ever been. I'm sure further questions will be asked about whether it is appropriate uh, to have someone legislating and acting in the House of Lords if they, if they have genuinely behaved in this way. This morning, Sewell finally bowed to the pressure. In his letter of resignation, he apologized for the pain and embarrassment he caused and hoped his decision would limit and help repair the damage to an institution he says he holds dear. But this scandal has already sparked a fresh debate in this country about whether to overhaul the house Sewell called home for 20 years. Jeff Semple, CBC News, London.